Java 8 was a paradigm shift. It, it totally squarely affected programmers. And as a programmer, you can decide whether to use the new paradigm or to completely ignore it. That, that's not the case with Java 9, though. With Java 9 modularization, every single library, every single vendor who is providing solution on the Java platform is going to change because it fundamentally modularizes the code. The JDK is already modularized, and uh, people deploying applications, creating jars, are going to create modules. So if I'm a developer using Java 8, within a fairly short amount of time, I'm going to have these libraries upgrade, but in the past when libraries upgraded, I could use those for most part with the versions I've, I was using, unless they had a disruptive feature that was dependent on that particular feature, but mostly people work through that fairly well to avoid such disruption. But with Java 9, when people start using modules, I am going to be forced to rethink about how I you know, deploy my own application. Dependencies really make the difference. So when the world around you changes to using modules, you don't want to be the one left behind in the, in the old world. That's one of the reasons why it's going to force you to move forward. Uh, plus also, uh, you know, all the things I mentioned about improvements and additions, those make you as a programmer more productive. So as you are becoming really uh, stronger in using Java 8, you will eventually grow into the position where you say, hey, Java 8 is great, but I'm beginning to hit these rough edges. Oh, of course Java 9 has these solutions, I might as well move as well. That may not be the most critical reason to do, but, but with all the other things going on, that would also be a driving factor. If you really look at Java 8 versus Java 9, Java 8 was disruptive for a relatively smaller group of programmers compared to Java 9, which is disruptive for the entire ecosystem. If you ask me, put my finger on one Java release, that's been the most disruptive ever, I would say that's Java 9. Java 8 was significant, I praised its uh, you know, capabilities all over, but, but it was not disruptive. It, it was a game changer in how we developed applications, but it didn't, it didn't force you to uh, move sooner than later, but Java 9 is going to be very disruptive. And I, I see that as a positive thing, I'm not seeing that as a negative thing. Oracle being a very powerful, very big, very successful corporation, and supporting a language is phenomenal. If Oracle had not taken over, if another corporation which is not as strong, both in technology and financially had taken over, I am not sure if the world would place as much trust in. So while we say we don't really like a few things, and there will always be people who say this, let's not underestimate the power of a big corporation throwing the support behind a language. And for most part, you know, Oracle has given the wings for Java to, uh, on the technical front to innovate, which, uh, which I think is, um, is, is very significant.